Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Yo, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, let's turn it up, man. of setting the edges of defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside, stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. Birdie off the play fake. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Now is second and ten. Out of the gun, Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 32 yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 32-yard line. McCaffrey running up the middle. So they get the ball on the opening drive. They take it in for the score. And how about setting the tone right away? Everyone talks about wanting to do that, but you always hear it in every locker room. First five minutes of the game, who's going to set the tone? Who's going to take control? Guess who just did? Well, now on the next drive, you, you, when you score that quickly or you're scored that quickly against, probably feel like you need to respond. Yeah, without a doubt. In other words, you've actually put the pressure even more so on your opponent. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 21. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Alert! 
Diggs going in motion right. On play action, Allen. He's got a man complete. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for attacking the secondary. No beating around the bush with this curve. His first throw of the game is a deep shot, and it connects. That's a tendency breaker right there because normally you build up to the big shot, but not in this case. Snap comes in one, and it's Allen. He'll let this go deep for Sherfield. And he's got it inside the 10. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he's got his tight end knocks for Bill's touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bills are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. Ooh, I like how they stuck with who got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Credit it with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now with Toss, this is McCaffrey. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. You have to love and admire the effort because he almost broke free in the backfield, but you also have to love and admire what the defense did. Swarmed the play and made sure he couldn't get anywhere. A loss of yardage. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense? Now let's see how yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. So after the INT, it's Allen. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Allen off the play fake. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. 
about that. Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. First carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. Seven seven. Our score after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two as they go to work on a first and goal. Gun, it's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. The three yard touchdown pass, and the Bills have taken the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, give him credit. Found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Niners take over first down at their own 27-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Two yards to go, second down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Our three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 45-yard line. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Now Purdy, he's going to change the look here. Got a man, that's Ayu. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the turn so much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, 
they've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They'll run for it, McCaffrey. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey, and he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Jordan Phillips is the one on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second down and eight. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here we go with McCaffrey. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. They start the drive with Cook. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slam. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and he'll force the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. What a nice little game. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Here comes third and about a foot. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Looking for Diggs and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. There he goes right side. And he's given his guys a shot from lead points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that. But I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. 
That one timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. They work now on second and nine. Now Purdy. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Final play of the half, Purdy. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown for the Raiders. Raymond Ayuk as time expires in the first half. And the Niners have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. You knew time was going to run out, so this had to be in the end zone, and somehow they were able to find a window and get it done. Very easy for us to talk about up here that, yes, all that had to happen, but when time's running down, sometimes your brain compresses a little bit, too. They show great poise, understanding of situation, making sure they got to the end zone in order to complete that pass and take a nice momentum into the locker room. And this is caught. So how about that? They get the two. Not sure why they went for it, but they do have the lead now here on the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? They put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Well, come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Play action. Allen. Left sideline of time, and it looks like he's got it. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Allen going to change it up. Another target from Stefan Diggs, and he brings it in. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. To the air, Allen. Open man complete downfield to Davis. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 17 yard line. Operating from the red zone now. Allen to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. 
He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. More than one defender there. And that's a loss of five on the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Allen hit. He lost the football. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well. And nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of executing the game plan you brought in. But I'll guarantee you, they didn't draw that play up on the whiteboard at halftime. They're fortunate to retain possession. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And quickly, they get to the line. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We're seeing so far as the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Oh, Allen cannot get away and down he goes. Chase Young picks up his second sack of the afternoon. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Allen going to throw. And Cook has it left side. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. On play action, Allen. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Here's the 
Here's Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Reggie Gilliam from three yards out. And the Bills are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Allen will try to throw for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. 15. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Well, on that one, they, they go with the play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. And the offense moving quickly to the line. First and 10 at the 34 yard line. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Oh, good move. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 45 yard line. 11 more yards. That's a The handoff left, McCaffrey. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Here's Purdy. And his throw here is incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Purdy to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Niners first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner. And I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and he'll take over at the 25.
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Purdy now on second down. That's Samuel caught left side. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first down, Purdy. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. I think this is what this game's become now. It just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Ed Oliver. I do know these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different.